Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about some things that you may have forgotten about Lumber Tycoon 2. So, um, let's just jump straight into it. So first thing, if you come over to the bridge and go underneath it, you will find this guy. And he is nicknamed the Feed Me Guy. Default you added this into the game just to troll the players. On to the next thing. And next up we're going to be talking about the lighthouse. So basically, if you go up towards the Frostwood area, but right before you reach the Frostwood area, if you look down here, there's a little entrance. And if we go down to this entrance, there will be a cave with another imperfection, which is absolutely outrageous and this cannot be in the game. Anyways, there is the lighthouse. So on the wiki, it basically says that this lighthouse is called the Ruined Lighthouse and it was added on the 13th of May 2018 and its purpose is unknown and Defaultio just as added it as like an easter egg. So yeah, there is no purpose to this lighthouse, there's nothing secret about it. Alright, next up we're going to be talking about the skeleton in the Lost Cave. So, basically, let's first of all get to the Lost Cave. We are at the Taiga entrance. So we want to climb these rocks right here. You can do this. I recommend you do this with a long plank since you will need a work light and a piece of TNT. So let's place the long plank like this and then let's grab a work light and a piece of TNT and walk it up. All right, and then we're going to move the long plank. We are going to move it over to this rock like so. And then we are going to grab our items and walk them up the long plank then when we are over here this rock can actually be blown up so if we grab our tnt and we place it next to it we want to make sure to turn on our work light so we can actually see something if we go down and go down even further we are now in the lost cave this is where you get the building power v's but there is another secret to this cave. Basically, if so if you want the power, you walk this way. But instead, if you walk this way, you will find something much more scary. So I've placed my light up there. So I want to grab a tall axe. I'm using the amber axe because it is very tall. And if I jump up here, grab it and jump all the way up we can see the skeleton in the lost cave basically um, it's, it's it's a skeleton in the cave so the wiki is actually not helpful at all because it doesn't give any information however the comment section is but here's the skeleton in the cave if you want to go find him you can you just need to go to the cave anyways let's move on all right now we're going to be talking about the twitter axe cave because I've seen a lot of people uh, discover the Twitter Axe Cave and not know what it is. Basically, there's Link's logic. Here's the Twitter Axe Cave. So here's the Twitter Axe Cave. It's not much of a Twitter Axe Cave anymore because it's been blocked off. So there used to be a way you could enter this by uh, facing the wall like this. Then turning around and going shift lock and then you'd glitch through the wall. But unfortunately, this does not work anymore, and there is no way to enter the Twitter cave. Back in 2019, if you followed Defaultio on Twitter and brought a silver axe to this location, you would be able to talk to a bird and then turn your silver axe into a Twitter axe. And I don't really think it's that good of an axe when it comes to chopping, but it's a cool looking axe. But um, yeah, let's move on. We are now going to be talking about the NPCs in the cave. Now, I don't have the time to go around and find every single one of them, but I will just find, I think it's Greg that's over here. And then Greg should be somewhere here. Uh, that's a dead end. Oh, look, here's one. So this is Slam. And he is a bit, uh, crazy. I think he has been, uh, way too far away from civilization for way too long. So there's three of these NPCs down here. There is Slam, who isn't really saying much. Then there's Gek, who claims that he has a boat shop. And then there's Joel, that warns the player that they can lose their soul in these caverns. So uh, I guess watch out when you're down there. You never know when you'll lose your soul. Uh, we're now going to be talking about the green box. So 
Lucky for me, I already got the green box like three years ago, so I don't have to do it again. But basically, in the volcano, if you do some parkour with long planks and then reach a room, you will be met with a box that is glowing green. If you touch this box, a message will appear where it says your success has been noted. And uh, that's it. There's nothing else to the green box. You can go find a tutorial on how to get the green box. I may do one in the future, but I really don't want to because it's just a pain. But if you really want to get it, um, sure, it doesn't really do anything, but it's a cool screenshot to get. Another thing you may have forgotten is the previous events. And I'm not talking about the stock up season events. I'm talking about the, um, the panda event where you had to go around and find the baby panda in 2016, I think that was. And I still have that badge and I still have that panda today. But there's also been some other events in Lumber Tycoon, like Beastmas, where you could get the scoop head, the mini axe, and the bees axe. I really do hope that uh, Roblox makes more of these events because they are really fun. So the final thing we're going to be talking about is the Mary statue. And I think this was added two years ago. If you go around here in the safari biome and then grab a blueprint and do that, and I'm stuck. Oh no. Uh oh. There we go. But as we can see, here is the Mary statue. And I think this was added in like October of 2022 at the same time as the void entity was added. So that way we got like some evil, the void entity, and then we got some good, the Mary statue. But I do really hope Defaultio does something with this, because why would he add a statue and a void entity if it doesn't do anything? But uh, yeah, that was 8 things that you probably forgot about Lumber Tycoon 2. And once again, I will disappear now, so have a nice day.